So in this video, we're looking at a mathematical process called completing the square. Now, in a past one, we talked about perfect squares. You remember a bracket squared is equal to this number squared, this number squared at the back, and this number times this number times 2. So 5x times 2 would be 10x. That was a perfect square. Now, we can actually turn... Provided we've got something that looks a little bit like this, we can turn that into a, into a perfect square using a little bit of a mathematical manipulation. So decide what number needs to be added to these expressions to complete the square, then factorize the resulting perfect square. So x squared plus 10x plus question mark. We need to add something to this to turn it into a perfect square. So, the number that we have to add to it will be half of this and then squared. So, the, I'll call it like the magic number. Magic number is equal to this number, which is kind of the B value, B value over 2 squared. In this case, 10 over 2 squared, which is 5 squared, which is 25. So now that we have our magic number of 25, we can add it to this, and we'll get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now that we've done that, we can factorise it because it's a perfect square now. x squared plus 10x plus 25. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 25 is 5, and it's a positive b value in the middle, so we're going to have to add it. x plus 5 squared. Done. Easy. Let's try it with another one. This one's x squared minus 7x, and plus some question mark. We need to find the question mark we need to add to it. So it's going to be magic number. equals the b value over 2 squared. Now that's going to be equal to negative 7 over 2 squared. Oof. All right, it's a little bit ugly here, and we might not be allowed to use a calculator, so we're going to have to use our index laws. Negative 7 squared i oh, sorry, negative 7 over 2, all squared, is the same as negative 7 squared over 2 squared. That's like index law 2. So, negative 7 squared. Now, you need to be careful because it's negative 7 squared. So, negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49 over 2 squared, which is 4. That's our magic number. So now we can complete the square. We can say uh, x squared minus 7x um, plus 49 over 4 is equal to x, because that's that one, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 49 over 4, well, we just squared something to make 49 over 4. So the square root of that is going to be negative 7 over 2. So x minus 7 over 2 squared. All right, that's step one of learning how to complete the square. We don't know how to complete the square yet, but we're getting uh, a step closer. Find the magic number. It's the b value over 2 squared. 